So, um, bacon and eggs for me and Adam. Bacon, eggs, and pancakes for the kids. <laughs> is that our opening mm -mm. Our opening face no so we were just sitting down to record some podcast episodes uh where if you didn't know we had a podcast it's called heart at home with farm life outfitters and you can find it anywhere you get your podcasts so we hope you'll listen to those but um while we're sitting here and we're still <laughs> which is not usual these days um we thought we would talk to you about carnivore because we've been getting lots of or i've been getting lots of um like dms and stuff on instagram because i've been sharing what we've been eating each day kind of mm. so i thought um we would just kind of go over what why we were doing it what motivated us to do this how it's going what's our plan that kind of thing so um so why did we start it do you want me to <laughs> <laughs> do we just keep talking mm -hmm. i'm just the eater you're just the eater mm -hmm. okay so um oh, something that we really haven't shared on here yet i don't think is that i've been having some health issues since december of last year and um i last year was a doozy anyways um there was just a lot that we went through and um for whatever reason my body decided to break out in um like with eczema um pretty constant itching um back in december so it's been uh, seven months now that i've had um just a lot of skin issues skin irritation and um, in addition to that um, I last year I had gained a lot of weight um, I was having like some weird like heart palpitations and dizzy spells and um, lots of moodiness and just lots of stuff going on and um, I started seeing a holistic doctor um, who I really really like and he has <clears throat> tried me out on lots and lots of supplements that don't seem to be touching my issues and we've tried different things and nothing seems to be helping um, uh, many of you might know especially if you follow me on other platforms that um, especially on our podcast because we did talk about this last year that um, I had postpartum depression for the first time and I felt like part of that was um, recurring um, again just in the past few months and so I'm like something's got to change my um, my doctor had asked me to try to do a paleo diet and so I was not super strict about it but I was doing kind of like an 80-20 paleo um, and just not seeing any kind <clears throat> of benefit from that really um i mean we eat healthy that's the thing is like we eat pretty good um mm -hmm. we eat good quality food um we raise most of our food if we eat breads and things it's things that are homemade um without any kind of like you know fillers or preservatives or any of that kind of stuff so you know i feel good about the way we eat i did not feel like it was necessarily my diet and and the doctor didn't think so either um but anyways so we um we had a really rough like couple of weeks ago um with like my anxiety and depression and adam was like we gotta do something like we gotta do something and um so uh, our friends Lacey and Mike had been over probably three probably three or four weeks ago or something 
and she had just started carnivore diet and she was already like four or five days in and she was seeing some good results already and um so i talked to her a little bit about that and then um our friends jason and lorraine came over a few weeks ago and you know if any of you guys follow so the land you know he's had a lot of skin issues as well and um he was over a month in and he was like i'm good now like i feel really good now and it was like that's nowhere <clears throat> close to where he was so we kind of looked at each other after that and we're just like are we supposed to be doing carnivore you think and Adam's like, let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. So we did, and we're two weeks in now. Mm -hmm. And so, what? How do you? What do you think about it? What are your thoughts? Well, I think I'm tired of eating meat. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready for some vegetables. It's just hard because this time of the year we're getting stuff out of the garden: tomatoes mm -hmm. and cucumbers and squash and all the good stuff, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I have started eating a couple of those. Like today, I had to have a tomato sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's been challenging. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you like meat, then you're like, yeah, I could eat meat. I could eat all meat, but it's not that easy. Yeah, I mean, we, we do eat a lot of meat. I remember um, meeting somebody at an event um, a couple years ago, and I had just never, like, because you hear most people say, like, I'm going to a plant-based diet for my health, or, you know, people are kind of, I don't know, they kind of shy away from talking about how much meat they eat, and I'm not really sure why, but that's just a cultural thing, I guess, you know, like, people are just trying to not eat as much meat, you know, they have meatless Mondays and all that kind of stuff, and, um, well, if it's not raised correctly, it, there is a, an that's, impact on the environment and that's stuff. That's true. So it's, you know, it, a lot of meat is not ethically raised. So That's true. I, we wouldn't eat a lot of meat if we didn't raise it. Yeah, you know, I because agree. Because we don't buy it at the store. And, you know. I agree. Um, but I remember meeting this lady, and um, for whatever reason, we were talking about our what we eat, and she said... Um, well, we eat mostly meat. And I just, I had never heard anybody say that. Like, we eat mm -hmm. mostly meat. And um, and I do believe they farmed and they, I mean, they raised their own meat and stuff like that. But I just, I don't know. That just got me thinking. And um, anyways, so um, I thought, because we do eat a lot of meat, and I thought this would be easy peasy for us because we're not going to the store to buy meat. We're all of our own meat. That's what we're eating. And, um... I love meat, but mm -hmm. I don't, love, old, I don't yeah. love it this much. It gets old. <laughs> you can only switch it around so much, you know. Yeah. I mean, I found that I I enjoy like liver and stuff like that. Yeah, and I don't like stuff like that, like it, but um, it just tastes better. I mean, I've always liked it, but I feel like I've enjoyed it. Yeah. You know, it just tastes good. Yeah, that's good. I mean, mm -hmm. that's good for you. Um, I wish I liked liver and stuff like that more than I do um, organ meat but um, yeah so and really at the beginning of this because I know that I'm dairy sensitive already um, I was trying not to do any dairy except we do bulletproof coffee so we do butter and heavy cream in our um, that we produce here in our coffee um, but I was trying not to do any other like cheeses and things like that and I just found that meals got super bland, boring, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if there wasn't something. Like, I use cheese like a condiment, I guess, now. Because it's like, yeah. you know, just to kind of change it up a little bit or whatever. But I probably need to do a little less than I, than I am doing. Um, I wonder one if it's going to be hard to stop this diet. As in, you know, you crave bread and and vegetables mm. and stuff hmm. and you just want to pig out or something on the stuff like that yeah i don't know i mean okay so what's our plan what do you think the plan should be from here well i think we're going to do it for 30 days aren't we yeah and just see how it goes mm -hmm. see if your your skin issues improve yeah that's another thing is my skin is the same um mm -hmm. as it was before i even started going to my doctor so 
that's pretty frustrating. Um, but uh, yeah, we've committed to 30 days of this. Um, but like he said, he's already had some vegetables. I haven't had any vegetables yet. Um, but after 30 days, I would like to add in some vegetables. Um, not be super strict mm -hmm. about that. I do think I'm going to seriously limit um, like breads mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, probably not even have bread every day. Certainly not have it every meal or anything like that. Um, I guess if this doesn't work, we should do an all vegetable diet. <laughs> Go from one extreme to yeah. the other. <laughs> we yeah. Have tomatoes and cucumbers. Mm, I don't know about that. I think I'll be better on the meat than on the vegetables, but yeah. we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. 30 days and then start adding in some other things. Um, but just continuing to be very mindful. I mean, you know, we've been two weeks without any kind of sugar. So that's mm -hmm. good. That's always a good thing for anybody. Yeah. Um, but I don't think like, I mean, some people may argue with this, but I don't really think this should be a permanent like I'm gonna always eat this way kind of thing like I think the Lord wants us to I mean he's provided variety for us and I think we need to be very mindful and and know our limits and that kind of thing but not be so strict that we cut out everything except for like one thing mm -hmm. you know from our diets so yeah so that's where we're at this is we've been saying this this is like a wintertime diet yes you know that's our obser that's our main observation from this is at least if you're on a homestead you know if yeah you're, if you're gardening and you know you're producing your own food then this is definitely a wintertime diet yeah and we had talked about that before we started you know i said why don't we start after the summer adam's like no we're going to do something now because <laughs> yeah yeah i was not good but i feel like mentally i have been much better yeah. since starting this diet emotionally mentally um so that's a big plus for sure. I've lost five pounds. I, I'm sure you've lost weight, but I don't know how much you've lost. Mm -hmm. um, but going to the doctor uh, this past week, I found out I had yeah. lost five pounds since starting it. So, um, so that's encouraging because I do want to lose weight as well. And um, yeah, so we're gonna give it a good go and see what happens. Mm -hmm. But um, it's probably not. I don't know if it's for everybody. I mean. I know there's something, like I was telling you the other day, there's something to eating um, for your blood type as well. So I think that every individual person, you know, handles things differently. And just because Jason was healed of his eczema and stuff after 30 days on carnivore doesn't mean I am going to be mm -hmm. because we're different people. Our bodies are different. So yeah. um, I had hope in that. but mm -hmm. And I still have hope. But... Um, I'm not just banking on it, I guess. So. Mm. What's been your favorite meal? The burger yeah. has been my favorite. That I did really a good. double decker um, bacon cheese burger the mm -hmm. other day, and it was really With good. Egg. It had egg on it. It had egg on it. It was bacon, egg, and cheese ba bacon burger. Yeah, mm. it was so good. It was really good. I could eat that every day. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure. I mean, I get tired of that too, but I could eat that for every meal. Yeah. And that's the thing too, like this diet is expensive. Like if mm -hmm. you're paying, yeah. I mean, which we're raising our meat, but we could sell that meat. There's an expense. Yeah. There is an expense mm -hmm. to that. So it's not like it's free, free food or whatever. So, yeah. um, it's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give it a good try and, um, we will report back and let you guys know how, how everything went. So. Let us know if you have any questions or comments about it. Or if you're doing carnivore, we'd love to hear in the comments about that and what your experience is. I'd love some encouragement along the way. Sounds good. All right. Talk to you guys next time.